everyone, welcome back to my channel, this is Angelic Sims. Today's video is going to be another episode of the Let's Play The Sims 3 Ambitions, and today we are working yet again, and she's just going to bed right now. Actually, this is just the end of the last episode, and my computer is frozen. And yeah, so we're just going to be working today, and probably, I don't know, I'm ready for her to get a promotion. I think she's level 2, yes. Um, and once we get to level 6, Six or seven is when I'm going to be adopting a child um, that is going to take her place and join the next profession. So yeah, let's just wait till she wakes up. All right, so she's waking up and her moods look pretty good. I mean, I guess she could take a shower. So I'm gonna take a quick shower and then continue her sketch because she was working on that. I just wanna let you guys know that during her days off, which is actually tomorrow, so the next episode and then Saturday and Sunday, we're going to be exploring some of the other things that came with Ambitions. So we're going to go into town. I think, isn't this the one that came with like the junkyard and that kind of stuff? We're going to go into town and kind of explore that and um, those kind of different options that came with the Ambitions game. And yeah. Does she have any laundry to do? I'm going to go with no on that. Oh, she's got to move the laundry. Oh, move them to the clothesline. Okay, I'm going to have her do that first because that's pretty ambition-y. Ambition-z. Jeez, this takes forever. Because she has to, like, lug all... All the clothes, they're like dripping wet. And it's wet outside, so her walking around because it rained all night long. I apologize if you can hear my dog. He apparently decided to make an appearance in this today's episode. Yay! So that's what it looks like when you hang the clothes on the clothesline. I dig it. Alright, now let's help. And now she has a positive moodlet, which is the saving electricity. Um, because she used the clothesline, so that's awesome. I'm sure if she used the dryer that she actually would have a negative moodlet. Um, we should try that out the next little laundry that we do. And she starts work in two hours. And this actually helps her job experience, her sketching and stuff. She's a little bit hungry, but she's work at eight. So yeah, okay. So it's time to work. And I don't think we have any jobs yet. Nope. Oh, jobs available. All right. So new baby room, we did this before. So let's do perform job. The heck? Why won't it let me? Um... I don't know why it won't let me click. Alright, so I think something's glitchy because it won't let me click that. But let's see if we go here. There we go. Okay, so new baby room and new baby room. So let's do this one. Alright. Let's go Chica D. All right, so we've arrived at the house where she's going to be renovating. And I literally hate this career so much because I seriously suck at it. I don't think you guys understand. I'm so bad at it. Okay, so let's look around. Like, like I don't know. Where the hell am I supposed to put a baby room? I'm sorry. This is our best spot right here. Oh my god, is that actually a room or is that just like where the stairs let out? I'm pretty sure it's just where the stairs let out, but it actually is so perfect. Okay, so we're gonna want a crib. I say we do like one of my fancy ones. And I don't know if it's a boy or girl, so I'm gonna give him a yellow. And I'm gonna do a rug right underneath the baby. The, ba the baby. The crib. I wonder if this is cute. 
Oh, that's adorable. It's really big though. Why is it not um, showing up? Okay, I don't think the mesh is all there. Or is it doing it with all rugs? Oh, I think my game's just not loading. All right, give me a minute. All right, so I don't know why my game won't load anything, but I've let it sit here forever and it will not. Oh, okay, now you're gonna load? The heck? Oh my God, that's so annoying. Okay, so she wants two rugs, a potty chair, toy chest, and bookshelf. So we'll do a little bit of like a potty chair, little little, little crib corner over here. Oops, that's in here, huh? Um, And let's do a blue one. Oh, there we go, it finally loaded. All right, so we'll do a potty chair here and then a toy chest. We'll do this one, because I love that one. I think that came with um, Generations, I think. And then she also wants another rug and a bookshelf. So we'll do a bookshelf. Oh, we'll do a bookshelf. Do they have like a kid's looking bookshelf? Oh my god, this one's cute. But huge. Jeez Louise. Okay, well, not that one. Jeez, why are they so big? I like that one. It's not very kid friendly. All right, boring bookshelf it is. And we'll do another rug here. We'll do like a smaller one. Um, what is, holy crap. That's definitely, I would not consider that to be a smaller one. Um, this would be cute. Maybe if I switch these two, oh God. Uh oh, that's not good. Okay, redo, redo, undo, 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 undo. Jeez, I couldn't, um. Okay, calm down. I'm just trying to move you. Okay, and then we could put this like right up against it. Yeah, I love that. All right, so I'm gonna turn in the renovation. She has a huge budget remaining, so maybe if I like hang a little bit of like a little mobile over the top, maybe then she'll. She'll like me even more. Like right there, and then like a little, little mobile over it. And then if we do just like, just like a little bit of wall decor. I don't know if this is gonna help or if it's actually gonna hinder, but I think it's pretty stinking cute. Let's see what it looks like, like while you're actually in the bedroom. Baby rooms are my favorite. I'm so excited we have two of those to do today. Oh, you gotta admit that's really adorable. It's so cute. All right, let's turn it in and see what happens. <laughs> I'm afraid. These episodes are always so much longer than some of my other um, series because it takes me so long to build things. Ah, Great to hear it's finished. I'll come over and see where you, see how it looks. These are some nice houses. This is like the fancy part of Twinbrook. All right, hurry up, lady, I'm starving. Says, what's her face? I don't even know her name. Is it Lisa? That kind of sounds like something, I've, no, Trish. <laughs> Not even close. Who are you? Are you, okay, this is Scout, so talk to her. I'm pretty sure that's who we asked, who we're supposed to be meeting with. All right, let's go check it out and see how you like it. Oops, oh my goodness. It's really honestly very adorable. Is this the hubby? Bobby, Bobby Sergeant. I can't tell, they don't really react on their faces. It looks kind of indifferent. That was like either like a ooh or that was a smile. I'm not I'm not really sure. Look, she's like, uh, what do you think? What do you think? Is she pregnant right now? Yeah, what the hell? You haven't even welcomed your baby into the house or into the world. Oh, baby legs. Tell me, did I do good or not? My God, stop freaking like dragging it out. Oh my god, this is taking so long. Just talk. Okay, there we go. We did a good job, and we earned a $50 bonus. Woohoo! 
Thank God. Boom shakalaka. Woohoo. Our job experience actually went way up. I'm going to have her go home and have a snack because she's literally starving. Um, and just pee. And then we'll go back out. Because there are, there's only one job available. So we'll be able to get that one. But she's going to pee her pants. So if you've ever read books or like articles online or anything about The Sims 3 Ambitions, it does say that you should talk to the client before you do the job. But for me, I don't know the different traits. Like I know that if it's if they're frugal, it means that you should spend less money. That's honestly the only trait that I know. And if like they enjoy art or something, then you put more art. But for me, it takes me forever to figure out Sims traits. And so that like honestly wouldn't work for me. So that's why I don't do that. I think I will try that actually on the next one because um, I do want to try for you guys to see if that makes a difference at all. If just talking to them in general makes a difference or if you actually physically have to like figure out their traits and stuff. I'm not like 100% sure. So you're off in like three hours. Hurry up. Why does it take them so long to eat? In The Sims 4 it like straight up takes an hour to eat. Like I'm like what? That's not real life. Nobody actually takes an hour to eat a salad. Like, yeah, if you're talking and stuff, I guess, like, you could take an hour for dinner. But, like, in real life, let's... Come on. Come on here. All right. Back on the clock. Not that she was ever off the clock, but... All right. So, let's do speak to client. Bookshelf. Same exact thing. Except, let's go talk to her. Visit lot. Okay. I'm not sure that this is going to work out, and we really have, like, barely any time, so she better hurry her little arse up. Especially if we're going to talk to her. Like, ah! It takes, like, two hours just for her to, like, approve the job later on. Okay, and she just went over water. There was no bridge. <laughs> I think Twinbrook is really honestly pretty, and she just went over water again. Oh, we're kind of like going into swamp. Oh, this is like, but the bait, the fee or the budget was really, really high for this. Oh God, she's a dog. Yeah, I, I'm aware that's a child, but there was like a dog. Knock, knock, let me in the house, you stupid freaking jerks. I'm here to redo your household. The hells. Small child's going to answer the door. Hey, bud, where's your mom? Okay, and mom's not home. That's, like, literally just, like, the most helpful thing in the world. Okay, I give up on talking to them because I get off in an hour, so screw you guys. Um, yeah, goodbye. Alright, time to begin the renovation. Like, okay, there's, like, lots of space for a baby bedroom. Not, unless I'm gonna put them outside. Oh my god. This is horrible. Like, literal horrific. Oh my god. Okay, so I guess we're gonna try to put them in this hallway. This is killer. Like, straight up killer. Okay. Kids room. Lots of crib. Okay, we're gonna go cheapo on the stuff because everything else in the house is cheap as hell. See, this doesn't even fit. And then no one can walk if you put it there. Oh my god. All right, I guess it's going in the kitchen, maybe? I don't, I don't know. I guess maybe we could do it by the fireplace. Then baby would be warm. Perf. Oh my god, this is so beyond ghetto. Okay. We'll do maybe a rug. Just like a, a little rug. Oh, a heart would be so adorable. Ah, So cute. Oh, we'll do a bookshelf. We could do, like, fancy... Um, yeah, here, let me put a fancy bookshelf in the space where we already don't have any room. <laughs> Good plan, Abby. Good plan. Whatever, I'm doing it anyway. Oh my god, why is this carpet so big? I'm not a fan. There we go, that's a little bit better. Cause then you like walk in on it sort of kind of oh my god this is so ghetto i'm gonna get such a bad score on this one but i really don't know what to do 
Like, there's no real other room for stuff here. Like, oh my god, this is like the tiniest little house of all time. Sculptures? Okay, so we'll do... I think this is considered a sculpture, maybe? Yep. And is this considered a sculpture? Okay, now I'm gonna turn in the renovation. I probably did so bad on this one because I literally spent none of the money, but whatever. I don't don't care. <laughs> there, who I just hate this game mostly because it gives you or this career, not this game, but this career because it's like, here, build a baby room where we don't even have a bedroom for a baby. Like, am I supposed to build an effing room? Like, no, I'm not, so screw you. You are annoying and you suck. And she is literally just like standing in swampy water territory. It's disgusting. It looks like it's like up to her neck. <laughs> Alright, go check out your <laughs> baby bedroom in the living room. <laughs> I'm sorry, you live in a crap hole! I bought you a nice bookshelf. Okay. Oh, she approved of the heart rug. She thought it was very childish. Is she pregnant too? She is. How come everyone keeps asking for a baby room before they even have the baby? Look, this is like camo furniture. That is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, let's see what she said. Oh, she said I did a good job. Oh, you did okay. Thanks for trying. Yeah, it's hard to make a crap hole look better than a crap hole there, Missy. Oh, should I take a picture of her face? Hello. Hello. Boom. Alright, so she's officially off work, so let's have her go home. Uh, complete a renovation. We just did there, stupid wish thing. Oh, she got promoted to level 3! Yay! Good job, Trish. God, she gets pissed every time I make her take a taxi. I'm sorry, do you want to walk everywhere? I didn't think so. Twin book? Twin book? Twin book? Twin Brook is so rustic. I love it. Okay. So, I think she probably is just, like, ready for bed, to be honest. It's, like, 9 o'clock. That renovation took three hours too long. Okay, so off, she bed, off to bed she goes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoy, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!